excited about that. That's been in the works for a while now. That we've been uh, praying on to see what, what we're going to do. Actually, Lonnie, uh, because he had all this favor from God at his work, and those revival broke out, he had favor from his bosses as well to give him time off. But he was like the best, their best sales guy for him to get time off to, 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 to actually start a supernatural school uh, with Blazing Fire back in the day. So they, had, they took some time off in ministry, and now they're ready to do it now again with us. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, and like I said, with our and our heart is to get people with strong foundations first. Because how many of you guys know if you start moving in the prophetic, but we don't have strong foundations, it can get messy, right? It can get messy. So uh, what we're going to move forward to uh, in the beginning of the year, so our next group here, we, call, we come every first Sunday, right? From 4 to 6 and then 7.30 to, to 7.30 for food fellowship and uh, healing room. But starting next month, we're going to have me- weekly home groups where we're going to go through foundations together with these groups. This is number one book, and it's super simple. <laughs> Basically, uh, it's, a, it's a daily devotional that you would go on your own. This is the first day, just from there. This is the second day, which you would read on your own, and then weekly we get together as a group and discuss this stuff. And then once a month we'll be here with our guest speakers moving the ball forward in the prophetic and the supernatural um, with Bible study and also in prayer and worship. So if you want to be a part of that, there's some books back there that you can check out about this, but there's a lot of us that are going to have this uh, home group at our home on Sundays as well. And we're going to have other satellite groups that are doing it as well so that we can get foundation, strong foundations and become like a real family in this and then move in other progressions so that ultimately we want our black belt in Christendom <laughs> so that we can go into our mountain of influence. In anointing and in favor, right? But it starts with strong foundations. And if you think that you have already at uh, our intermediate level with like a brown belt, you know, it's great to go, go through this stuff again, but we also have a heart to disciple others. Mm-hmm. So if not only are we going through it ourselves, but who are we bringing alongside of us to teach and, and train up as well? Because we want to, 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 to cover the earth and get this right to kingdom. So that's good. And then if you guys didn't notice, these on your seats, <laughs> right? Let's all thank Dave. This is his church. We are church having a Christmas Eve service at 6.30. If you guys are available, it would be fun to, uh, to all connect here and, and just bless them too and just worship together because they bless us with this, this facility for free once a month. That's, you know, it's amazing. And they have a great, uh, they get guest speakers every week for their service at 10 o'clock. So, New Hope Church, we're all connected with them. So, so. Before we ice up, we did want to share some testimonies. Um, we have Karen and Neil. You can come up, please. They have a seat. We're going to do this interview style. We <laughs> want to do this. Interview style. I gave them questions, but I'm not just go broke and just ask them about We'll see. We'll see. Not with the same thing. And, and then we would all just talk about our testimony. 
that was our group, was based around our testimonies and our inner healing. Um, so, Neil and Karen have gone through theirs recently with Pastor Bill. If you guys weren't here when Pastor Bill was here and, and taught about uh, emotional healing, inner healing, we're going to have that up, right? We have the video for that? Mm -hmm. We're going to have that up next week. <coughs> and that was powerful. Um, Neil actually did two since then. Because um, he needed <laughs> No, he did two. I have another one. Uh, and then Karen had it hers as well. So just before the ex I ask these, um, these questions, uh, I just want to kind of brag on them as well. Uh, you know, Neil, Neil is, is really <laughs> Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's really going after his faith like, like no other. Uh, he, uh, this is all new to him, you know, and he's been prophesied over that, uh, that his, his, uh, his growth is going to be accelerated because of his hunger. And uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it's very evident in his life to walk. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Karen as well. Karen, <laughs> she's she's super gifted in the spirit and just uh, just really going after her as well. They, you know, she leads our healing room team. Neil leads everything else in here. <laughs> He's going after it as well at the walk. You know, with the with the worship team and all that good stuff. It's just God got a hold of them. And um, and it, I just really excited for us to hear their testimony because there's power in the testimony. Uh, I remember when I shared, I forgot who shared. When we did this in Concord, someone shared. Memorial shared. Flo shared his inner healing uh, session with Pastor Bill. And Lonnie Maria sat in there for the first time they came to our meeting. It was super hot. There was no air conditioning. <laughs> yes. And, um, and Lonnie, that night, had an inner healing dream. Had an inner healing dream because we created an atmosphere where the testimony broke out. And that night, he'll tell you, I think he kind of told a story last time where he had a dream about this person that he had some issues with in the past. And uh, it came up in the dream and it surfaced. And, um, and God healed him through that. He couldn't sleep all night, but he woke up really refreshed and in peace. And he knew it was because of the testimony that was shared the night before. So uh, there's power in this, and that's the reason why I love bringing them up and uh, how amazing they are in their walk right now and going after God and they're getting their tissues ready already. So. Good case. <laughs> good case. So give them a hand again, please. <laughs> so we'll make this kind of quick. We'll see how it goes. You know, my spirit just lead the way. Um, so the first question I wanted to ask you guys was um, was in my text when I sent you the questions, and I'm looking for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, well, basically, what, what led you to want to get us go through a session with Pastor Bill with his Freedom Ministry uh, prayer? What, what led you to that, and what were your expectations going in? First question. <clears throat> All right. Um, so what well, I made a uh, pastor bill um, it was like Jay said, you know, we all got something and you know, we all need healing. Uh, I've tried throughout my life healing every other way possible and nothing worked. And um, <laughs> God actually healed me before I even went to Pastor Bill. So I knew his strength and power before I ever went. And uh, my expectation was that um, God would take care of some more of it, yeah. and uh, we did. And <laughs> <I'm all. laughs> uh. <laughs> Jeez, I don't like all of that. Yeah. Um, so I first was just gonna go because everyone else did it. <laughs> <laughs> I had severe FOMO. So, um, <laughs> I do it too. Um, but the real, like, I guess the real moment when I realized I, um, I needed to do it was when um, Pastor Bill was here um, in September, and he was basically already having a session with me, but this is up in the front, and he said he, he actually modified what he was going to say that day to kind of cater to me, because he saw... <laughs> He saw like the tissues I was using, and um, basically it was like he said 
the session started then, and then we continued it when I finally did see him um, during our present session. And um, he said it was probably the easiest one he's ever done, and the quickest one he's ever done, because he's like, we've already, we already did like half of it um, beforehand. And um, he's like, it was crazy, because um, he kept asking Jesus to work on me, and um, he was specifically asking him to do stuff, and um, I was like, uh, Jesus is already doing it, like, and he was narrating what I was seeing, because I, see, I have visions, and um, I was seeing Jesus um, chip away at my heart, like chip away the hurt in my heart, and um, and Bill was saying, okay, um, Jesus, I, I pray that you um, you know, if you could just use that sword and chip away the heart, we're actually, uh, he's already <laughs> doing it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow. And he's like, um, also, if you could heal her, and he's like, uh, he's already doing it. <laughs> so he was basically narrating what I was seeing, so it was just insane. And, um, and so that was kind of like, it's kind of going to the next question already, but that was kind of the breakthrough. Too. Yeah, so what was the biggest Yeah, the, the breakthrough was just seeing, seeing him work on me in that way, because what happened at, um, the RFM that Pastor Bill spoke at was, um, he was talking, I don't know if you guys remember, he was talking about shame, and I was like, how could you know this? And like, I had this vision that Jesus was standing in front of me, and he reached into my heart and grabbed, grabbed that shame that I had hidden away. During the talk. During the talk, during the talk. So that's why I said the first half of our session technically started here. Uh -huh. And um, so that's when you know, like, oh, okay, so I'm not just going to my heart, my session just because everyone else is going. There's a reason why. And um, so yeah, that's that's, what, that's how I knew. And I, I didn't have any expectations prior to that. Like, I was just like, oh, okay, everyone says they had a positive experience, so I want a positive experience too. And they said they were healed, and I didn't know if I was gonna get um, physical or spiritual or emotional or mental healing, and I got all of that and more. So it just it just made everything make more sense after that. Amen. 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 Biggest breakthrough. Breakthrough session. Um so my biggest breakthrough was having a second soul memory. I actually had my first about twenty years ago and like I said, um, I'm trying to healing everywhere there as possible through secular means. And uh, nobody knew what to do with this soul memory until I spoke it to Pastor Bill and uh, God gave me another one and let me see how it all started for me and gave me the understanding of why I've been feeling the way I do in my heart and my soul. And, uh, the biggest breakthrough was him taking that away and yeah. healing me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, thank you, God. Yes. Thank you. Mm. So how, how has that impacted you? How has that impacted you and in, in you put your relationship with God now and uh, in your walk? <coughs> been reignited in my fire for Christ, you know, um, and Jay said, you know, I'm not sure, but I've really um, been taking steps to strengthen my relationship with God and just continually reignite that fire and stoke it, build it, and um, that's what it really did, was just stoke that fire for him and for his power, not just for myself, but to bring others to that power so they may know that kind of healing, they may know that kind of strength that he's given me. And what it's done for my relationship is um, more understanding, less frustration, less anger. Um, being able to just <coughs> be relaxed and feel at ease, have peace in my heart. Amen. Even, even through the storm, right? Because I know you're going through a lot of stuff too. And it's, it's not about like we're doing this for prosperity or anything, but what I've seen is even everywhere else in your life, there's there's more favor now. Like even in business and in work and, 
in your relationships there and in all the ministries that you're a part of now too is just is blossoming and um and and one thing that i'll i'll talk about a little bit is is with our prophetic equipment center the first thing we're going to go through with Lonnie and maria which is so like in line because we were talking mm -hmm. about this before we had the meeting was well how to hear from god here i know sandy and i were with that that group with them hearing from god right um that that's i feel is I don't want to say it's a skill set, but if we are in a, in a faith of relationship, that's the number one thing we should go after is hearing from God. And, and that's when we hear from God, that's where we stay in our zone. Our, 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 that's where we're in favor because we're actually abiding from what we hear, right? That's that connection that I see from the only. It's just awesome. Basically, you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean um, I have been actively seeking a close relationship with God um, since 2017. I mean, I've always I've always been a believer in God, but um, in 2017, I think because I had been going through a lot of stuff and I had been going through depression and just um, just like a lot of negative thoughts and and all that, um, I've been actively seeking a relationship with the Lord, and, and I, I said, Lord, how can I grow closer to you? And he just planted all these like little seeds along the way, and like um, I remember just going through certain, certain I don't know experiences and wondering, okay, is this the, I don't know if, the people that went to the rock today. Um, she was talking about Pastor Danielle talking about um, futility, living in futility, and so I was just like, why is this even happening, Lord? Or you know, and then I just you know what I'm just gonna trust God. He He laid this out for me. I I need to just trust Him, and so um, it basically led led me to here, led me to where I am today. Because um, and because I was seeking that closer connection with Him, everything else has been falling into place. Like mm -hmm. in my in my um, my relationship with my family, my relationship with um, well now I am in a new relationship. Um, I. My, my work, my business, um, everything has been basically blowing up. Like everything has been lit a fire. Like the, the love, the the um, just my conviction. I, I used to be afraid, or not afraid, but more like okay, like should I talk to them about God? But now I'm just like I don't care. <laughs> like I'm so convicted that I I just you know if they'll receive it, they'll receive it. If not, it's okay. It's not their time. But um, I just I, that's how I've seen. Um, my relationship with God and with others has grown. Like the the uh, broken relationships I've had with people have mended um, and are even stronger than before. Um, good or great relationships I've already had have somehow even gotten stronger. So it's just I I there's not one part of my life um, that hasn't experienced any positivity or growth. Mm -hmm. So it's just as long as you know to believe and trust in Him, everything else will, will fall into place. Like. This work on this first, and then everything is Amen. Um, what are you most excited now about your faith? Um, just fulfilling my purpose and my calling. Um, yeah, just because, um, I like I said, I, I felt like I was wandering and wandering, um, like just in hopelessness and just without any without any purpose really, and I. I in 2018, it was just a, it was like a breakthrough. It was a transformative year for me, but this year was my breakthrough year. So, mm -hmm. um, it's just, I, it's just cool seeing how, like, I, you know, I progressed and, um, yeah, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, um, for me, uh, the thing I'm most excited about is just walking on my purpose and fulfilling the Shown to me and told to me, and what's on my heart. And um, I'm excited about you know the changes to come, but mainly about the challenges because through the challenges is where we grow as people, as followers. And uh, that's the biggest thing that changed for me after my inner healing sessions was I recognized that. He doesn't put in front of us what we can handle. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah, for the outcome. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so if you're struggling, you know, ask him. Ask him for his strength and he'll give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Thank you guys. Um, can you can you guys give them a hand, please? <laughs> Father God, we thank you in this time of worship, of word, of fellowship, and of healing. We thank you, Lord, for all the favor and all the challenge you put before us. And we're just here to tell you we love you. Father, well, I thank you for gathering us all here tonight um, in this very room. Um, thank you for um, Isa's great worship. Thank you for um, the community and fellowship we have today. Um, and thank you for the chance to share uh, about our inner healing experiences. Lord, I pray for um, the, the prayers that are in everyone's hearts right now that are unspoken. Uh, Lord, um, just want you to bless them with abundance and prosperity and peace and calm and relaxation. And for um, if anyone is having any anxieties or stress or what have you, whether it be um, any physical or financial or whatever issues it may be, Lord, if those could be um, healed in your mighty name, um, we ask that, Lord, we ask this all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen.